Hi, I'm Jerry Matthews, and we're here today looking at some some old plans for Sandy Ridge Golf Club in Midland. My dad did the original design of the first nine in 1963, and he added the second nine in I think 1965. So we have a, an older mid-60s golf course design here, which of course is much simpler than we do today. Number one, we didn't have the budgets to do very much. They were a more simplistic design. Although my dad designed really functional, basically sound golf courses, he didn't do all the work with all the mounding and move a lot of soil. Uh, he didn't create artificial fairways and hills and, and uh, move a lot of soil because number one, he didn't have the money. Number two, he didn't have the desire to do that. He looked at golf as being challenging, but fair, but he wanted people to get around the golf course. In the 60s and 50s and the 70s, one of the major issues with public golf was to get, course, get golfers through the golf course. We wanted them to have fun, but we didn't want them to take all day to do it. It was a numbers game. So he kept them fairly simple, uh, still sound, but uh, only built usually one tee, made it big enough for three sets of markers, did very little fairway grading unless it was a blind shot. We had to, uh, he didn't like those, so we tried to eliminate those, although we couldn't always. And uh, I think his trademark was greens. He, he liked to do uh, greens that had character. We call it character. It's, it's doing enough mound work and enough soil so that the green has a three-dimensional appearance, and it gives you some mounds and valleys to do some contour mowing. All of his greens sloped from back to front, and uh, if they were built correctly. But uh, it was pretty simple back then, and he wasn't always around to see that they were built the way that he wanted them to. But all in all, they came out uh, pretty sound, and uh, and that uh, Sandy Ridge is a really basically sound golf course. Uh, obviously, could use updating as we do today, but uh, it doesn't need it uh, other than some maybe doing some more earthwork to get some uh, some more third dimensional appearance along the fairways. It's it, it's got some uh, got some wooded sites, and it's got some a lot of open holes, but it also has quite a bit of water for a course of of that age. So. All in all, I think it's a pretty decent layout, and, uh, and I think it'll probably stand the test of time it has so far.